All right, this is gonna be my end of year bank video for 2023 on both my main account and my Iron Man account right over here. Also gonna to touch a little bit about my goals for 2024, and I'm gonna go through this pretty quickly because I don't really like the rambly style of bank videos. So this very first tab, this is my miscellaneous tab, junk tab, just a lot of stuff that I don't really know what to do with yet, and eventually I would like to organize. I'm gonna go in reverse order because this tab is typically what people are the most excited by. This is my loot tab. This is where I keep all the common drops from most bosses and Slayer that I ever do. This is kind of my trophy tab where I keep a lot of the unique drops from bosses and kind of stuff that uh, I like to collect. So that'd be my snowman pets and my snowblood plushes. This is my capes tab, all the capes that I have achieved in order. Cooking was my very first 99 and my very last 120, at least before Necromancy came out. Down here, I'm also working on collecting stuff that just looks really cool, stuff that's kind of flashy or expensive. So I would like to get, you know, the dream of course is a rare set. Uh, that's probably out of the picture for me. So I'm kind of just collecting the, the junior rare, so to say. And uh, I would like to eventually get a hero item set and a die set in here. That'd be really cool. This is kind of a potion tab that I don't like to keep with my main supply tab, but stuff that is still useful nonetheless, stuff like aggression potions and weapon poisons, um, stuff that doesn't necessarily look too good with my gear or my supply tab that you'll see in a minute. This is my clue scroll tab. Uh, this is something that I'd like to expand on next year. Right now I have none of the logs completed, but I'd really like to complete at least the easy and the medium logs next year and make as much progress as I conceivably can in the other more expensive tiers. And I'm gonna show you my collection logs at the end. This is my skilling tab. This is where I keep a lot of various skilling supplies and my skilling outfits. It's pretty much uh, very disorganized, but by the end of finishing 5.8 billion experience next year, hopefully I'm gonna get rid of the majority of this and that'll free up a lot of bank space. This is a tab that I'm very proud of. Uh, I think it's really beautifully organized, uh, super convenient to get things in and out of this tab. This is where I keep all my food, all my PDM potions, all the things that I need for preparatory stuff like my incense sticks, penance powders, refreshers, runes, binding contracts, familiars, uh, aura refreshes here, you name it, it's, it's pretty much gonna be in here. And this is a tab that I really, really love. Could use to a little bit of a restock in things like adrenaline potions, uh, but then, you know that'll be a project for next year. This is kind of uh, just some miscellaneous teleports, some kind of magical items, stuff that I don't really know what to do with, but it kind of, in some manner of speaking, has a little bit of a cohesive theme. Uh, so this is kind of the achievement sets, and you know just a bunch of teleport tabs that are eventually useful for clue scrolls, for example. This is my necromancy tab. I haven't really figured out a way that I like how it looks to have my necromancy gear in with my main three styles. So for now, I've just kept it separate. Uh, this is all my necromancy gear, and this is how I've kept it from leveling from zero to 200 million experience. Got all my ritual supplies, got all my armors. All of them are having uh, one million item experience, which I think is pretty cool. This is my main gear tab. This is where I keep, you know, all my arrows. I got the full rainbow set of all the quivers, all the ornament EOFs, all the base EOFs, and all the rune pouches. Just to briefly go over what is in them, I like to keep it kind of color coded. So dragon claws are red. Stashius hammer is kind of the first EOF I ever had, so it stays in the default. Uh, Death guard, necromancy, there's no real color code here. Guthix Staff, Guthix is green, that's self-explanatory. Saren Godbow, the Saren Godbow is blue. Eldritch Crossbow is in the purple one because the little ghost split souls that are happening are purple. Armadal Bow Staff is pink because that was the last one that I had left. And the Dark Bow is black because it is dark. So the, having that color code makes it pretty easy to remember. And then in the Base EOFs, I don't actually know what all is in here. I don't use them too often, but I mostly like to look at it. And once in a while, it's nice uh, to have these without you know having to swap out something like a D clause. So I have an Annihilation in here. That's good for some like God Wars 2 speed kills. Vestas Longsword, I think I used to use this maybe for uh, some melee Virago at some point. Granite Maul, I've used this for several one ticks. Dragon Dagger, I used this for something. I wanna say maybe 
maybe like a five second Vindicta kill or something. Magic Shortbow, this was for one tick Legios. Uh, nothing in this UF. Darkbow in this UF, for some reason that's a duplicate. And a Decimation in this UF. All right, moving on to the armors. I have uh, mage, range, and melee kind of divided up into three little sections. Mage here, I do have two sets of Elite Tectonic. Uh, at one point I used this for Slayer, I think, and I used this for General PVM. It's kind of redundant now, but uh, you know, I'll make some use of it later. Got my Crypt Bloom, got of course all my Acto sets. I have the Shadow Die Elite Serenic. And uh, this here is a placeholder of just the tier 75 version of Draculich. Eventually I would like to have the tier 92 elite Draculich here, but I can't really justify the price uh, right now, especially, you know, being Necromancy Scape and I'm not really ranging right now. That and I also just flat out don't even have two bills, so <laughs> that's going to be a goal for next year. Then I have a row of mage gear. This is uh, kind of best in slot. Got my tier 92 flanking here. This orb, eventually, I would like to replace with a seismic singularity that has caroming on it. This camel staff, at one point, people were speculating that this would be a really good item to have lunging. So, you know, I just bought it and uh, it kind of sits here. Kind of looks interesting, at least. Then I have the hex hunter weapons for all three styles. Got the defenders for all three styles. Got the tier 90 shields for all three styles. And I have the spirit shields for all three styles. And then there's my ranged weapons. I have a decimation that don't really know why I have this. I think actually I bought this for Iron Araxor's uh, PVM challenge. And uh, so that has very little use. I should probably just dismantle this at some point and get the perks back. Then I have my melee gear with the tier 95 flanking, got the Scourge, got the Ice Died Scythe. That's the first item I ever died, so I'm pretty partial to this one. This one is pretty special to me. I would like to add Ice Dies to the Easy K and potentially the Bow of the Last Guardian as well next year. Got my Pocket Slot items, got my Elven Ritual Shard, Enhanced Excalibur, got my Cannons and Cannonballs, a couple Scrimshaws that I use occasionally, uh, got the repair patches here, Berserk Blood Essence, I've used this very sparingly for one-off speed kill or two. Have some XP capacitors, this is always useful to have these, you know, whenever you want to level up some new gear. For example, when Necromancy came out, these came in handy. I have a kind of redundant set of Accuracy, both with the same perks. This is just for general building purposes, for example, at Virago. Got some... A spare set of melee gear here you notice i have two sets of custom fit trim master work and that was at one point i used to do melee telos so i got the legs specifically for that and uh, these are just other random pieces of gear that have filled uh, some various niche at some point for myself so like bandos tacits i used these when i did the revenants grind this used to be for when i did melee more frequently and would make use of mobile barging sometimes i think this was just for slayer got a sliske set Again, another piece for Slayer here with Biting for Genocidal. And then just some various weapons that fill some niches. Uh, so I've got my Masterwork Spear of Annihilation. Got my Stash's Hammer, Vesta's Longsword. Ripper Claw, this was for when I used to do ranged Telos and you actually used to need a physical bladed dive. And uh, Clear Headed was, was quite convenient for that. Lanikia Spear for when I used to do Raksha, Dark Bow. This is mostly useful for, you know, Virago when I used to do that a lot. And I got the Wyvern crossbow and the Royal crossbow, just for various times where using a Hydrox Rico is useful. And the Armadillo crossbow, again, for building purposes, for example, at Virago. And that's uh, that's really the end of my bank here, so I'm going to just go very quickly through my collection logs. Mostly got a lot of progress on the general clue log, that'll be easy to finish. I would like to completely finish the easies, I would like to completely finish the mediums. And in these tiers, I would like to make as much progress as is realistically possible. So for example, I would like a die. I would like a, a piece of you know each of the big things, a piece of Gilded, a piece of Third Age, and a cape slot would be really cool. So getting the base collection logs would be really, really cool. Probably the closest on Elites, I think I'd be missing a couple Dragon Masks, a cape slot, and a piece of Druidic. There's my Master's Log. And then we'll just go through my collection logs of bosses. 
Now, I was the 44th person to ever get the Golden Reaper title, so most of these are complete. I am missing three logs at the moment, Croesus being the worst one that I'm missing. I really despise the boss, so I have not had any motivation to do that, but uh, I will want to get my Golden Reaper back in 2024, so I will be suffering through that at some point. And then here are just the remainder of my logs. A lot of them look really nice, if I'm honest. Legios has spent extra time to make those even with all the signets. Going for insane appraisal at some, some point might actually be conceivable with the chest changes. I got my chest back when it was still 1 in 5,000. So that uh, kind of burnt me out on that boss. Still need the Zuck pet and the Vorkath pet for getting my Golden Reaper back. Oh, as well as a substantial amount of the Xamarin log. Ultimate Slayer is also one of my goals for next year. I only have one completed log, but it is a good one if I say so myself. It is the Desert Log, with the Camel Staff and Nipper Demon Pet being two of the rarest things to go for on the Ultimate Slayer grind, as far as I'm aware. And that's the end of my collection logs. Uh, other big goals I have for myself in 2024 are to finish 5.8 billion experience and to get as close to max rune score as is conceivably possible. So I'm pretty close. Uh, a lot of the big things I'm missing are largely mini games, like the Profound title, which is an enormous grind. And the final thing I'll showcase for the main account side of things is that I would like to complete as much of the player-owned house storage as possible. So a lot of this would come from AFK Thaler or AFK Castle Wars. A lot of this would come naturally. But uh, yeah, it's not a grind I am you know, eager to undertake. It's, it's a long, long-term kind of thing. You know, getting all duplicates of these capes that I already have, for example. Got the fancy dress box. Not actually too sure where a lot of these things come from, so it'd also be interesting to learn about the game in that regard. And then, uh, you know, completing the clue scroll titles on my own, I think would be a really cool way to fill these up. That said, I did at one point buy everything from the master tier to fill this up. So that's everything for my main account, and now let's jump on over to the Iron Man side. So Iron Man side, stats are really good, you know, very close to comp. I, I think the only thing I'm missing from getting my completion escape back is actually uh, just Master Skiller, so getting 120 Necromancy. And uh, one of my big goals for next year on the Iron Man is to get the Trim Completion Escape. I'm gonna follow the same theme with my Iron Man. This is kind of a junk tab, don't really know too much what to do with uh, any of these items, but it's not stuff that I want to get rid of. I am saving very wild rewards for a future opening video. Let me move those into this tab, that'll look nicer. This is kind of my drop tab. Uh, again, this is where I keep a lot of my common drops. Uh, one of the big grinds I've been working on is the Legio title. I'm only missing two pets currently. As you can see, I have enough signets for at least 11 bows, which is pretty darn cool. This is my cape tab, once again in order of uh, achievement for me, and archaeology was my very first cape on my Iron Man. As you can see, my untrimmed archaeology cape. That's something I think is really cool. This is my archaeology tab, very useful for an Iron Man to upkeep these two materials, especially for binding contracts. This is my herb lore tab. It's organized kind of the best of my ability. It's a bit chaotic the lower you go, but it is very functional, where I have the seeds, grimies, cleans, unfinished potions into the finalized potion uh, with the tertiaries just underneath that. And then as you go down, you'll see I have like player on farm stuff down here and uh, stuff for other potions, stuff like prayer renewals and aggression potions. This is my summoning tab. Again, on Iron Man, my bank is just uh, very, very cluttered compared to the main, in my opinion. But uh, a lot of stuff just seems so functional, seems so important to keep a lot of this stuff. You know, it'd be a shame to get rid of something that uh, a few months down the line gets a major buff, for example. So maybe eventually after I get like 200 million uh, summoning experience, maybe I would consider, you know, clearing out a lot of this stuff. This is my trophy tab, similar to the main account where I like to keep more unique items. I have the AOD pet in here that I'm waiting to get the title broadcast with, potentially the, the golden title, that'd be kind of cool. But if not, I'll, I'll just save it for when I'm closer to IFB or Golden Reaper. Got a couple interesting things in here, a bunch of orb sets, a couple leftover Telos items, got all three of the tier 87s from Wildy Flash events, but don't have any Onyx cores. So that'll be something that I hope to work on next year. 
I've got my clue scroll tab, a uh, little bit nicer than my mains, I would say, because I actually have a few unique items in here. And this is my skilling tab, once again, similar to the main, where I keep all my skilling outfits and miscellaneous skilling supplies. This is my food and potion tab. It's a little bit less organized than my main, but uh, it's very functional nonetheless, kind of keeping the same pattern. Uh, definitely not nearly as stocked as my main, but it is very, very functional for my Iron Man, and I'm quite happy with this tab still. Got my blessed flask, and I will tell you, this is one of the worst things I have ever done in this game. This is an atrocious grind right here. I think the Legio's grind is more pleasant than this. This is kind of my magic tab. We've got a lot of uh, a lot of runes, which uh, at one point I might like to consolidate into my supply tab to be more similar to my main. Uh, but this is also where I keep a lot of teleports and various magic items. Got my necromancy tab, essentially the same organization as my main. Got all three of the sets. Got my tier 90 tank and power armors and my tier 95 Raziel set. And this is my main gear tab on the Iron Man. So this is where I keep all my arrows. I'm trying to keep it, you know, organized in a similar, similar way to my main. Uh, I could use some work for sure, but you know that'll come with actually getting a lot of the gear upgrades as well. So I do have all the base UFs on my Iron Man. Each of these takes about a month worth of Reapers, assuming that you average 30 Reaper points per day. Uh, you need 900 Reaper points to make one of these. So going through them, I have Dragon Claws, Stash's Hammer, Gothic Staff. I would like to put a Saren Godbow in here, but I don't have a second one. An Armadale Battle Staff in here. Purple one is going to be saved for Eldritch. A Death Guard in this one, and a Dark Bow in this one. I would also love to get Ornament Kits for these at some point, but that's pretty tough to do for Master Clues. Got all my armors. Regrettably, at one point, I lost my Crypt Bloom and my vestments to leaving my PK Skull on. Uh, this was early into the release of Wildy Flash events when toggling PvP was new, and sometimes I would still toggle on and off PvP for some various activities like uh, uh, room crafting with the Skull, for example. And at one point, I tallied into a Wildy Flash event and just got bopped for for all that, so that's unfortunate. Gonna have to do a lot more Croesus, which I absolutely despise, but it's gotta be done. Here's my weapons. Got uh, tier 92s for melee and range, which I love. Gotta get some good perks. Uh, at least the Saren Godbow is best in slot, which is really cool. And I have dual ascensions over here. A couple uh, just variety items for, for ranged, variety items for melee. I do have one Kopesh. Never finished the second one, I uh, didn't have a need for it, but I do need to go back for Gloves of Passage at some point. Got my Spear and my Inquisitor Staff from Archaeology, so that's very nice to have. I am 200 million Archaeology, having gone for those. Got a Noxious Scythe and got some magic gear over here. And this is where I keep some, some pouches. It's definitely not as organized as my main, but it is very functional nonetheless. Going over my collection logs, my general clue tab is finished, my, or my general clue collection is finished, with a nice amount of easy rerolls. Easy collection log is pretty close to complete. Uh, I did get unlucky one time getting a duplicate suitcase. If I'm not mistaken, this is the rarest item in the collection log, so it'd be kind of nice to finish this at some point. Medium clues have solid progress. Do I have ranger boots? I do not have ranger boots. Do have one briefcase though, so that's pretty good. Hard Clues also has some pretty nice progress. Don't have anything mega rare. I did get a backstab cape on this account, so that's interesting. Elite Clues also have some pretty solid progress. Two out of three on the God Bows. And Master Clues, I hope to fill this out more next year. And I'm not going to go over the Slayer collection log because I'm not really interested in Ultimate Slayer on this account, uh, but I will go over my boss logs because I am interested in going for Golden Reaper on this account. If I had to guess, based on the number of items that I have, I would, uh, I would estimate that I'm probably 40% or so complete with Golden Reaper on this account. Of course, I got a lot of pets and a lot of rare items, but uh, I do have substantial progress all said and done. Just missing two pets on Legios. This is a huge one to get out of the way on iron. Going for the keys takes a tremendous amount of AFK time, but it has been enjoyable, believe it or not. 
done a lot of nice scavenging procs. That makes it feel a little bit more worthwhile. Alright, and that is the end of my Iron Man section of the bank video. So goals for my Iron Man would be trim comp next year, best in slot gear, golden reaper title, and uh, possibly 4k enraged titles for Zamorak and Arc Lakor. So that'll definitely keep me more likely than not uh, occupied for years and years to come because this is a, just a tremendous amount of stuff to do. But that's what I find fun in this game, so just setting lofty lofty goals and slowly but surely chipping away at them. So all that said, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next year, hopefully achieving a lot of these goals. Take care and thank you for watching.